hi everyone and welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i've gotten on here but here i am now so if you follow me on instagram and snapchat you know that the family and i are currently on holiday in serbia and on this particular day we decided to spend the day in the countryside so i'm just going to walk you through a handful of pictures that i took uh, it was easier for me to take pictures than to do um, a video especially with the two children and the grandparents that don't speak english and the great grandmother that also doesn't speak english so anyway let me just move it right along so as you can see in some of the pictures um the countryside is incredibly beautiful it's got windy road it's got gardens it's got um you know scenic views of the mountains and on the other side of great grandmother's house is actually bulgaria so anyway we drove just my in-laws and the two kids and i to go and see the great grandmother and there she is we call her Gigi she is 80 something years old I'm actually not quite sure but she's up there and I really wanted my children to have the experience with um the great grandmother Zoe has met her before but this was Nicola's first time meeting her and I really cherish these moments especially since I don't have um parents or grandparents anymore so for me it's very important that my children have um this wonderful experience of um grandparents and great-grandparents so there she is Gigi again with Nicola and there's my little boy and Zoe actually has a picture standing on that fence as well um, my in-laws have um, a garden in the countryside that they grow uh, produce on so we when we go here to visit great grandmother we usually go and like get arugula for me because I love arugula but they have all sorts of stuff they have paprika they have um, hot chili peppers they have um, really all sorts of things i mean i think they even grow like uh squashes in the summer we here it is october now so obviously it's late in the season and they've gotten a lot of their produce uh and this is such a sweet moment my my father-in-law picked flowers for zoe and she saw him and she just took off running towards him because she knew that the flowers are for her and it's such an adorable moment for my sweet little girl and look at him he just got down on his knees and he gave them to her look this is why I want my children to have these experiences because it's so incredibly important in just building their self-esteem and knowing that they're loved. And of course, Nicola wants flowers too. What so must have, Nicola must have. <laughs> my sweet boy. And this picture is just it. This is the reason that we come to Serbia every year. So grandfather end up getting him a pear because they have a pear tree as well. Um in the compound and there's my little boy just chomping away <laughs> they, these two have a very sweet relationship and i'm really thankful um that even with the language barrier the language of love speaks right through and as we we're driving back we didn't spend that too much time with great grandmother but like an hour and a half or so and then we drove back but the views are just unbelievable and it's so quiet and peaceful and you can hear the trees and the water and the birds but as we're driving back, you could see civilization slowly creeping back in with the big buses and, <laughs> you know, the busy roads um, and the signs leading back to Belgrade. Belgrade is actually uh, three and a half, four hours away from us, um, which is really nice because then you can really be in the country. But when you go to granny's house or the great grandmother's house, it's really country. So now, as you can see with the buildings of the cars, we're back in the city and my son was fast asleep in the car and my husband came out and picked him up these two are my life i adore them and this is the end of the trip for us so i hope you enjoyed that sweet little vlog and i'll talk to you soon